Did you know that numbers can be part of a family? That's right. In math, numbers that go together in multiplication and division make up a fact family. Just like your family is made up of people who are connected, fact families are groups of numbers connected by math. So what is a fact family? To understand, let's look at the fact family made of the numbers 3, 4, and 12. If we put them in a triangle like this, we can see that they're connected. Here's how it works. If you know 3 times 4 equals 12, you also know that 4 times 3 equals 12. Now here's where it gets interesting. We can also use these two numbers to make two division facts. If we know 3 times 4 is 12, we can also say that 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Pretty cool, right? Next, we'll examine the inverse relationship between multiplication and division. So what's happening here? Multiplication and division are like best friends. They're inverse operations. That means they undo each other. When you multiply, you're putting things together. When you divide, you are splitting things apart. Think of it like this. If you start with 12 cookies and split them into four equal groups, each group gets three cookies. But if we take those groups of three cookies and put them back into four groups, we're right back at 12. So when we use fact families, we're just flipping between multiplication and division. Let's practice using fact families. Let's build a fact family using 5, 6, and 30. If we start with multiplication, we have 5 times 6 equals 30, and 6 times 5 equals 30. Now, let's use those same numbers for division. If we start with 30, we can divide it by 5 to equal 6, or 30 divided by 6 to get 5. So, this fact family has four facts. Two multiplication facts. And two division facts. Now, it's your turn to build your own fact family. Let's practice. These numbers, 3, 9, and 27, make up a fact family. Can you write the multiplication and division facts that connect them? Here's what we get. 3 times 9 equals 27. 9 times 3 equals 27. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. And 27 divided by 3 equals 9. How did you do? Let's try one more. The numbers in this fact family are 7, 8, and 56. Can you write the multiplication and division facts to complete the fact family? Here's what we get. 7 times 8 equals 56. 8 times 7 equals 56, 56 divided by 7 equals 8, and 56 divided by 8 equals 7. Of course, you could have these written in any order. Knowing fact families makes solving multiplication and division problems so much easier because they help us to understand the inverse relationship. Next, we are going to use fact families to solve division problems. Let's use a fact family to solve this division problem. The numbers in this fact family are 24, 6, and we are trying to determine the missing number to complete the fact family and find the quotient for 24 divided by 6. Here's how it works. To complete the fact family, you can think 6 times what number equals 24? We know that 6 times 4 equals 24. 
And we also know that due to the commutative property, 4 times 6 is also 24. Using the inverse relationship, we can switch gears to division. If 6 times 4 equals 24, then 24 divided by 6 equals 4. With a fact family, you can use multiplication to help solve division problems, and vice versa. This is because multiplication and division are inverse operations. Now, when might you need to use fact families? Let's grab a slice from the pizza problem. Fact families aren't just for math class. They show up in real life too. If you have eight pieces of pizza and four friends, how many slices does each person get? You can use a fact family starting with eight and four to solve this problem. First, we need to find the missing number in this fact family. We can think eight times what number equals four. We know that four times two equals eight. Using the inverse relationship, we can also say that eight divided by four equals two. So each friend gets two slices of pizza. Fact families can be used to help solve lots of problems you come across every day. Now it's your turn. Can you find the numbers for this fact family? Write down your answers and check if you can solve for all of the multiplication and division facts in this fact family. Did you get nine and five as the missing numbers in this fact family? You did? Way to go. Feeling confident? Try building your own fact family. Remember, multiplication and division are connected, and fact families are the key to unlocking both. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA. For more, it's easy with Twinkle videos.